Taurus, this is Soul. And Taurus, this is your weekly tarot uh, reading uh, messages uh, beginning September 2nd and ending September 8th, 2019. It is for uh, Taurus Sun, Moon, and Taurus Rising Signs as well. All right, my fellow bulls, I hope all is well. Uh, before I begin, this is a new week, new energy, new cards I'm using. Uh, the card deck that I'm using to deliver your messages, uh, tarot, tarot, Taurus. <laughs> See, I can get stupid sometimes. The Witch's Tarot deck created by Karen Dugan and also uh, Taurus. I'm introducing the Gilded Reverie uh, Lenormand deck by, <laughs> created by Cyril Marchetti. All right. Selecting two cards from this deck. It's a 36 card deck. Um, <clears throat> they're red in pairs. There are no reversals, so there's no worries there. All right, Taurus, let's get right into your uh, your energies here. Uh, happy Labor Day. Also, to Taurus, can you please throw in some prayers for the uh, people in Florida because of the Hurricane uh, Dorian? Uh, they just increased the uh, category. And as I have been mentioning in other videos, too, this the hurricane is here because of the three towers that showed up for, I don't even remember who they showed up for i think sagittarius was one of them scorpio might have been another um but that's the energy of the tower whenever it shows up it, if it's not something that impacts you uh directly it could be the environmental shit that i always talk about so anyway let's uh get right into your energies to see what's coming up for you what's in store what you have to focus on um and all the other hopefully good stuff Energies for Taurus, spirit. What's coming up for Taurus? What, do, what does Taurus need to know? What do Taurus need to focus on? Taurus, your shadow energy relates to the lovers. Boom. Okay, so you have the shadow card lovers. And remember, I always say the shadow card, if it is a major arcana, to pay attention because it's going to play out. No matter what else is uh, selected for you, it's going to play out. And this is a very dominant card, okay? So this is an open general reading. So this is about partnerships of all kinds, business, romantic, platonic, uh, friendships, you know, all kinds of partnerships, relationships, seeing eye to eye with one another, being on the same page with one another. There is romantic chemistry, uh, equanimity in terms of even exchange of communication, all those things. Gemini represents the lover's card. Also that energy of uh, the other air signs, Libra and Aquarius, male or female. So, and I like that. See that angel? The angel's in the background. And the angel is, is more than likely there because she's blessing this union, whatever the union may be for you. Okay, so we start off with the lover's card. Then your focus is on taking chances and risks with another major arcana. This is the full card. Okay, so taking that step into unfamiliar territory, um, seeking new adventures, doing something very, very risky, and whatever those things are for you, Taurus, this is what's coming up. All right, you're seeking something new. The universe will support you. That's the full card. Major Arcana. So you not only opened up with the shadow energy with the uh, Major Arcana, but I also said too the very first card that is selected for you, if it is a Major Arcana and it is a good one, that also is going to take precedence over anything else that is selected for you in this reading. So taking chances, uh, stepping into the unknown, taking that first leap of faith or that first step forward into something totally, totally new. Okay. And I do feel that there is some uh, energies that I'm receiving that this fool is showing up here that Taurus, some Taurus that I'm reading for wants to move in a different uh, direction. OK, a completely new direction. And that could be work related. That could be uh, living arrangements. That could be that could also be, part, uh, you know, new partnerships. But you want to you want to do something different. OK, you want to break up uh, monotony here. And the fool said, go ahead and do it. We're going to support you. All right. Following the full card here, Taurus, now is, um, oh, look, you got another major arcana. And keep in mind also, too, the more arcanas that show up here for this reading, the more intense 
the energies are going to be. This is a relationship card as well for me. OK, but this is peace, harmony, beauty, balance uh, when it comes to all relationships. So if there was some sort of uh, disharmony, things thrown out of balance for you in the uh, recent past, then those things are coming back into normalcy for you. OK, that's the restoration. Beauty. And she's out in nature. So that's the beauty of life in general. That's the beauty of um, the exchanges with other people. Feeling good about yourself. Okay. Feeling good about yourself. And it's the relationship card. So with the lover's card, who's to say what's going to take place um, this upcoming week? The fool may be representing uh, energies for someone who wants to uh, finally shed the fear of connecting with someone new, okay, when it comes to a romantic partnership or connecting with a new friendship, however, the, you know, those energies open up for you. Sagittarius represents the temperance card, um, Taurus, so this is good, and other fire energies, uh, Aries and Leo. Up next is the uh, Seven of Wands, okay, so this is my stand your ground, do not bend, do not fold card. Uh, it's not about you being attacked. It's about you making up your mind about doing something and not being persuaded to change your energies. If the seven of wands is showing up in the reverse, that means that the wands are persuading you to change, persuading you to fold, persuading you to bend. The wands could represent other people's or it's on your own self doing. So, but it is in the upright. So whatever it is that you uh, think of, and you're concretely sure in terms of what you're going to do and moving forward. Uh, if it is based on the full card, taking that leap of faith, don't fold, don't bend. Just go ahead and do it. OK, don't give into your wheels. Fire energy again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female with that seven of wands. All right. So next up is the king of pentacles. And now this is your energy, Taurus. So you're you're really good here. This this reading, no matter what else is <laughs> revealed, you're doing pretty good. And even if this damn recorder did stop, I'm going to do a second one for you because I don't want to give up on this energy for you. It's really, really good. So the King of Pentacles, a court card, represents your energy and the other Earth energies, Virgo and Capricorn. So this is getting that promotion to a higher position. This is possibly uh, taking that leap of faith into the new relationship, all right, into a higher position, into possibly doing some sort of business on your own, because this would represent entrepreneurship, doing work for yourself. This could be the boss where you work, and this is a card of generosity, so that's extension of favors and, and favors being granted. This could be your banker, good week to apply for loans or credit, it more than likely would be extended to you or given to you. OK, so this is a good card. This person is uh, able to share their resources and that could be, you know, representing you share their resources with others that they have accumulated during the course of their lifetime. And I say the course of their lifetime because this is the king. OK, and we're talking about an older type of energy and it also could represent female. Up next is, look, Six of Swords. So there's some sort of traveling going on. Maybe it's uh, situated around Labor Day holiday weekend. This video is going to go up and it's Saturday. So some of you may be already traveling and out and about. This card comes in to say that it's safe passage uh, to and safe passage from. Uh, moving away again from some sort of minor conflicting energies into clearer, calmer waters. Six of Swords represents uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male and female. Up next there, a Taurus is the, oh, look at this, your energy again, Ace of Pentacles. So is this about a new job, wanting a new job or starting a new career? This is about increasing uh, your finances. This is a card of generosity. Ace of Pentacles is your energy and it shows up here for your reading. And the aces are always the start of something new. So there could be a new beginning when it comes to in connection with the uh, King of Pentacles that someone the resources are available. If you are interested in uh, doing work for yourself, there's money available or other resources available. This could also be a promotion to a higher position. Uh, this could also be that new job, the start of a new job for almost anyone. Uh, but it's positive. Wow. Again, your energies and that of Capricorn and Virgo. Ace of Pentacles is here for your reading. Following the Ace of Pentacles now. <laughs> 
is the queen of pentacles. Damn. Okay, like I said, if this recorder stopped on me, I would definitely throw in another video for you because, Taurus, you're getting some really, really good energy here. Wow, you got the king and the queen of pentacles. So it's definitely a double dose of energy of generosity. Uh, and that could be uh, an extension of you to others or more than likely because I'm reading for you is coming towards you. Those things are available to you or for you. All right, so the queen basically is the same energies as the king and what I, I mentioned. I don't want to repeat myself, you know, wind the uh, video back or take it back to where I talked about the king. The same energies will apply to the queen, okay? So, last card that I have for you, um, Taurus. And remember, I said the shadow card energy is the lovers. You have the lovers, you have the fool, you have uh, temperance. And the very last card is... Okay, so it's the two of wands. Not bad. Two of wands ain't nothing. Two of wands could represent two people is underneath the king. So that could be that connection. Um, one thing I do find, but that wouldn't matter because the lovers is here. There's absence of cups. So basically, this is a week where um, you're, just doing, you're just doing things. You're busy. Okay, you're just doing things, uh, but it's not so much uh on a deeper emotional level now that could be um debilitating for some uh sometimes people will let their emotions get uh in the way of what they need to take care of especially if it's involving other people but no this is the uh lovers that are showing up here that could you know definitely say you know you could have that exchange with your family your romantic partnerships or there's a development of new relationships of all sorts or of all kinds it could be business since all we have is the uh, pentacles that are showing up here any type of energy but it's not going to be so uh, much that you're heavily weighted on emotions okay emotions aren't coming in or will trip you up is basically what i'm trying to say in terms of completing this reading for you taurus but this is a beautiful uh beautiful reading now there could be um, the two of wands, I have to continue to read this here. The two of wands, since it mirrors the six of swords, even though a safe passage to safe passage from, there could be something that's slow moving. OK, so it could be uh, I wouldn't say a temporary delay uh, because that would give me. Um, it's not in the reverse, so it wouldn't give me a temporary delay, but there's something slow moving here. OK, something's not moving fast enough. Now, that could be in dealing with another individual or this is also the card where you, um, you know, those ideals come to you. Now, maybe business ideals, um, writing things down and uh, planning for the future. But you have so many positive aspects here that even if it was, it could be a business plan that you're writing down since the two of wands is underneath the king of wands and it comes after the queen of wands that someone is writing down a future business plan. Two of wands mirrors the ace of uh, pentacles. Money and resources being available to you. So maybe this is all the two of wands is standing for and nothing else. Uh, for others, though, it could be a lack of progress or a lack of movement in a situation, and it may be involving another person. So however the energies open up for you, Taurus, this is what I'm getting. All right, so that completes your reading, and let me go right into the Norman Gilded Reverie, the Norman deck, and select two cards. It could be a compliment to your this reading that I have done for you, or it could be a standalone, whatever, whatever you want to do. It doesn't really matter. So I... Um, feeling really good about using these cards. I, I never thought to use them before, and I think that I might uh, incorporate using them in the future. Okay, so two cards, red in pairs from left to right. One modifies the other. All right, so <clears throat> let's see what was selected for you. The very first card here, Taurus, is Chit Chatter. The birds. Okay, this is a form of communication, um, talking. So you could be, uh, it may be in relationship to talking about a business plan, talking about a new formation of a romantic partnership, whatever the energies is. This is, uh, the birds represent, uh, you know, things like social media. So increase in communication, usually involving one or two other people. Okay, so it still could be social media, uh, chit chatter. 
communicating, just talking a lot, a great deal to talk about. So who are you talking to and what modifies the birds? And Cartomancy, this is the seven of diamonds. And so it's OK. You got the. Uh, you got the clover. And so this is a good luck card. So talking about luck or being lucky and also to uh, possibly What else comes in with the two of clubs? I'm uh, not two of clubs. The clover is a card that's very, very um, talking about luck, talking about, oh, it also could be talking about sexual relations. But this is with multiple people. The clover represents, could represent multiple people. So whatever the bird is in terms of communicating, chit chatting, chit chattering, networking, it's with other people that I had said before I even turned this over. And this would represent those people. So it could be just, you know, basically you communicating with multiple uh, people. But it's good communication. OK, because something very fortunate or very lucky comes out of the communication. And that's the birds. So that's how I'm reading this pair here. And then also to the cardamancy for the uh, clover is the six of diamonds. So this is a good pairing. This is a good pairing. So whatever the chit chatter and the birds mean for you, um, then it's the luck. So there's some sort of lucky communication, lucky talks. Uh, and it's in uh, representation of, you know, other people. And since we have the king and the queen, again, apply it to your situation. But there's some form of communication uh, involving Taurus or some a few Taurus. And it's going to be a lucky uh, chit chatter. OK, uh, some sort of luck coming in with communication with other people. Now, that luck could be something that may be in referencing um, to that job, you know, talking to people, networking, and then that job or that promotion comes through because you're communicating with them and then the luck is on your side. See how that works? So you can, like I said, you can apply the energies to your current reading because everything is laid out here for you and I explained each card in the, uh, detail the best that I could and then you have the lover's card that opens us up as your shadow energy. So talking to others, and that talk fosters luck. Yeah, some sort of good luck. Okay, because this is the good luck card. All right, Taurus, that's what I have for you. Um, please be safe. Enjoy the holiday. Always in, emphasizing that uh, safety. Taurus, tell I talk to you again. The love and light. Oh, and throw the comments in. Let me know how this is opening up for you or resonating with you, okay? If it's not resonating with you, don't waste your time telling me it's not resonating with you, all right? Some segments and some portions will and some won't, so it's not anyone's personal readings. Take care. Bye.